In this lesson, we're going to look at how to make positive, negative, and outline text styles. What I've done is typed in some text and hit convert to curves and break apart so that all of the letter parts are separate shapes. If we go in wireframe and compare this O with the original, you don't have to do this, but you can see I took a few minutes to delete a lot of extra nodes, which I will probably explain better in another lesson. I also used the three point node three point rectangle tool to trim each letter and make those gaps a little wider. And like in the A I had to add that gap because that was connected. Now for the positive, everything has to be touching. So I can move those dots down to where they're touching. And I can move all of the letters closer together so that they're either touching or not so far apart. And then I can get my node tool, add a couple of nodes, drag these over here, Make those cusp nodes, make that a line. And here I'm going to use the freehand tool to draw a little connector. And then get the node tool, make that a curve, that a curve, bend it a little bit, and now with all of the letters touching, I can select them all and weld them together. At this point, I would want to clean up any nodes that are too close to corner nodes like this so that I can put a fillet if I need to later on. I probably won't do that in this lesson, but it's always a good idea to put a small fillet and not have sharp corners, especially like that. And if we go into normal view mode, there's our positive. And the negative is pretty much done. I can just put a frame around that and then select and combine. And there's the negative, and the outline 
it's pretty easy too I'm gonna go in wireframe and then it depends on how thick we're gonna make the outline as opposed to how close together these letters need to be and that should be pretty good so I will select them and combine and now I'm gonna contour to the outside point Two five inches with rounded corners, and that's a little too much. So let me try point two two, and I'm going to break apart. Double click on this to get the node tool, and I'm going to delete all this little stuff. and then do a little clean up in here It is usually a good idea to get rid of all sharp corners because those never cut right with any tool. And normally I would put a small fillet on my letters just to make that nice and smooth. And then zoom out, select, combine, and view normal. Outlines are neat because they're a little more interesting than plain old negatives. Can make a rectangle and contour it to the outside, break apart and combine and weld that to my letters. And I should fill it that. And there you have it. Positive, negative and outline textiles.